<laughs> My business is not another food truck. That is not another corn dog. Thought about it, put it away. Thought about it, put it away. Thought about it, put it away. And then finally tried to think my way around it. What could I do with low investment, low overhead? Grab myself $5,000 for a little bit of seed money and then just invested that in a hot dog trailer. Most people want something cheap and simple, but others that might be a little bit more passionate might want something a little bit more fun than just a regular old hot dog. I try to think that uh, I've got something for everyone with that truck. A little retro, get that little bit of nostalgia. This is my seventh year. I do some culinary courses, but really my specialty is nutrition. So dietetics and applied nutrition, also culinary nutrition. One thing that I love about Johnson Wales, first off, we have a great history of a culinary and baking and pastry program, which we continue to, but we see changes in the types of jobs that are out there in the job market and a widening of potential for our students, a lot of different areas they can get into, like mobile food vending or combining culinary and nutrition. When I think about entrepreneurship, these institutions that can nurture this creative entrepreneurship, I think that's incredibly powerful. So whether it's things that I've done 20 years ago when I worked as a, as a club chef or things that I've done more recently with my food trailer, I like to bring real life examples into the classroom. Met these two students that really were passionate about working with me and doing something a little bit different. I was just browsing through Craigslist and I found an identical trailer to my own for a very good deal. So as soon as I found that, I thought, I've got to get that thing and then we could run side-by-side -side trailers, side-by-side -side businesses. And to watch this business grow, to watch more and more subscribers on TikTok, when they start to attract the attention of breweries and festivals and other things, and just watching this thing snowball, it takes a while to start a business. It takes a while to get your clientele, and they've worked really, really hard. My oh, God, I'm so proud of those two.